Hi besties, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having an amazing day today. How was your day today? I hope it was great. Mine was okay, you know, back to work Monday blues is what I'm having. Um, yeah, so here we are again with yet another Timo haul. Um, wanted to follow up from my last video though. I did that shoe haul and I think what I'm gonna do is post um, some shorts of like how those shoes fit and and if if they feel okay on the feet and that kind of thing just so like a little mini review so if you see if you're looking for that look in my shorts section i'm going to try and do like little mini reviews of the shoes that i did in my last haul so i'm wearing the magnetic lashes that i had in my shoe haul i actually tried them on in my shoe haul so if you didn't watch that whole video and uh you want to see these lashes um go back to that video and like try and find the lash portion of it but I really like them. I wore them all day. They're very light. Um, so what I did do before I put them on is I curled my lashes with my um, eyelash curler. And then I put on two coats of mascara and then clipped the lashes on. And I will tell you with the magnetic lashes, they give you the little tool that looks like an eyelash curler, kind of. Um, it's weird to figure out how to get them on that thing. It took me like 10 minutes to figure just that part out, but... Um, once you do it a few times, I think you'll get it. <laughs> so if you're interested in those, I do recommend them. I think, I think I like them. I think them, I'm going to get a couple more sets because the reason I don't wear a whole lot of eyeshadow is because I don't wash my eyelids real, like, intense through the week because I usually glue my lash segments on. And when I do that, you have to keep, kind of keep your eyes dry. And so it's hard for me to wear eyeshadow. Well, I love eyeshadow. I love eyeshadow palettes and all things. So... You know, um, I think that if I continue with these magnetic lashes that I'll be able to wear eyeshadow, which is cool. Okay, on to the haul. Let's see what's in here. I do not even know. I've had this bag for a little while, um, so we shall see. All right, so these were $7.64. I think these are glasses. I think I got sunglasses, um, but it's a set of three. I think these were for Brian. So I, he's probably been waiting for these. Um, so you get three pairs for $7.64, and this is what they look like. I thought these were really nice, honestly, for $7.64 for three pairs. So here's the one pair. They're like... They're like camo on the side. I don't know if my camera's gonna focus on it, but they're like camo and then the lenses are really cool. And he actually looked through these and he was like, you know what, I think these are polarized. So this is kind of what they look like on. Um, yeah, I think they actually, I think they are polarized to be honest with you. So that's one pair. So you get three pairs in this box. Honestly, they're very, very lightweight. They're really nice. So you get that pair. You get, I, I believe you could pick from different ones, like different sets. So then you get this one. It's just the same type of thing, only black. Well, these look kind of ambery, but they're like black lenses. And then this was the last pair in this set. It's got like orange, which I love. I love these like orange red lenses on these. Aren't they cool? You can see my ring lights and everything in there. But yeah, I really like these. And I mean, they're they're not bad, badly made. Um, is there like a name on the side here? It looks like it, but of course I can't read anything. It says, I literally don't know what that says. Li I have no idea. It's in such t small print, I, I can't even read it. But anyway, it does have something on the side there. If you guys can read it, I don't know. But they're not bad. I mean, for... $7.64 for three pairs, but Brian does a lot of fishing, so he likes to use polarized lenses when he fishes, so yeah, I really like those. For $7.64, those are really nice. Okay, these are actually all Brian's as well. I'm going to show all of these if I can, just to get them out of the way. I saw these, and I'm like, ooh, I, I would have to bet you that these aren't even on the Timu website anymore. Because I'm just going to tell you they probably aren't, I, I, and I hate that whenever I go to link stuff and it's like discontinued or sold out. So I saw these and I bought like a whole bunch of them. Um, they're hook hats. Now this is a brand that we buy shirts in all the time. Now of course this is a, this is a dupe. It's not an original hook hat, but I bought several of these. They had them in different colors and they were $4 each. 
four bucks each and Brian wears his all the time. So, but I mean, you know, he wears hats to work all the time too. So, and they put this plasticky thing in here so it'll keep its shape. But yeah, they had it in all kinds of different colors. So those were four bucks and I bought a whole bunch, but he took, oh, here's some right here. Let me show you all the hook ones and then we'll go to the other ones. So here's a green one and here's a gray one, but these were all $4 and four cents each. Um, but yeah, he really liked them. So, but I mean, he wore them, he wore, wore one to work, I think so, but they're really nice, like baseball caps and they say hook on them. So yeah, but they had them in a bunch of different colors. So yeah, $4 for those. And then I saw this one and it wasn't like branded or anything, but it was, let's see, do I have a price on this? $3.59, but I thought it was cool looking. It has like a beige back. And then the front is like, this is like a maroon and then a blue. And then it's like the flag with only like with fish on it. So I thought that was really cool. Real nice hat. $3.59 for that one. And then I found these ones. And these are even better. And they were $4.39 each. If I can find how to get into this thing. All right, I need my cloud cutter. All right. $4.39 for these. These are nice. Really nice camo hats. And um, they have the browning. They're like logoed in browning. So I was like, dang, okay. Get a couple of those. So yeah, these are really nice. And then I got the black one with the uh, orange logo. And they say browning on the back right here. So yeah, I thought those were nice for $4.39. Those are great. Great hats just to wear fishing or hunting or whatever, you know. So, yeah, real nicely made, too. So, yeah, I bought quite a few of those. You know, I mean, Brian, wore, when he wears a hat to work and he gets all sweaty, you know, the, <laughs> he can go through hats pretty quickly. But speaking of cutters, I, the other day I was cutting boxes up and this cloud cutter, I was cutting it on my leg and it actually cut through my jeans and I panicked for a minute. I was like, <gasps> I freaked out. Okay, the, this was 314. It says mirror powder silver. They're probably nails. Of course they are. Okay, um, oh, these are really cute. 314, you get the alcohol pad, the orange stick, the nail tabs, and then this is what they look like. I, oh, these are in a small. Ugh. Okay, dang it. Why do I do that sometimes? See, I feel like when I see a pair of nails that I like, even if they don't have it in my size, I'm going to get it anyways. These might be a little too small for me. I'm not sure. But aren't they pretty? They're like a pink, really pretty pink, like mirror type of color. I think these are really cute. I might go back and see if they have them in a medium yet, but I love these. Super cute. 314 for those. That's when, you know, the handmade nails have gone up in price a little bit. So that kind of sucks. Like I've seen them try and sell some pairs at like seven or eight bucks. I'm not buying them for seven or eight bucks. No, absolutely not. Will I buy them for 314? Yes. Unless I really, really, really have to have them. Okay. So it looks like there's a lot of clothes in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a picture up of the clothing on the model. If it's still available, if you don't see a picture, that means it was probably discontinued or it's out of stock, but um, I want you to see it like on a model. So I got this in a 3XL, it was $7.87. I'm glad I'm opening these because I need some shir sh shirts for work. Say shirts for work 10 times fast. You know what, I think I saw Simply Jessica Marie get this shirt too and I thought it was adorable. But the uh, it's like a leopard print and the sleeves have like, there's like ruffles almost on the edges. But I thought it was stinking adorable, you know? So, yeah, it's like a it, fiberglass. Yeah, it's not fiberglass. It's definitely polyester-ish for sure. Let's see if there's a tag in here that says what it is. 100% polyester. It feels like 100% polyester. But I thought it was really cute. And I, I'm almost positive I saw Jessica Marie get one of these. But yeah, it's short-sleeved. And then the sleeves have just like a, a little bit of a ruffle to them. So I thought it was really cute. $7.87 for that. And again, I will try and put up a picture if I haven't yet on a model. And um, if if there's no picture, that probably means that they discontinued it. Okay. Yeah, there's quite a few clothes in here. In fact, I might have to go get a whole other bag. So there's only a couple things in here. 
Okay, I got this black sweater. It was... Feels like something just fell out. $12.67. I got it in a 4XL. It's probably a cardigan, because I'm a cardigan girl. Cardigan kimono girl. And it, yeah, it's definitely that. So, it's just like a black cardigan. Um, you know, it's got some like What's the, what's it called when it's got like pointel knit? It's like a pointel knit. And then these are the ends of the sleeves. That looks really cute. I like that. That'll be cute with like a nice tank top and some jeans. All right. Then we got this sweater. Okay. I don't like the color of this already out of the bag. I hate when I buy a sweater that I think is white and it comes in this like yellowy creamy color. It's like, what even is this? It's not really even beige. They're calling it beige. I call it, <laughs> I don't know. I call it yellow cream. Okay, this was $14.39. Ooh. I mean, I could probably wear it. I mean, I could probably wear it, you know, donate it or whatever. But it's literally almost the same as that last one. Not really, though. I mean, it doesn't feel too bad, but it's got, like, a little bit of a pointel knit going on. But I don't really like the sleeves in this, I can tell. But it's like a long cardigan and I'll put a picture up of what what I bought and what I got <laughs> you know I don't know if I like that for 14 bucks uh, I don't know okay then I got this shirt it was $11.98 in a 3XL so let's see what it looks like and I'll put a picture up of it too it feels really terrible like it feels like gauze feels like straight gauze Maybe it's supposed to be gauzy. I might have to like throw it. It's really, really um, stiff. But I think it's like a cardigan. It's, it's long. It's really long. Like down past my knees. I'll put a picture up. If hopefully it's still available. But look at the fabric. It's like... I feel like maybe if I put some wrinkle release or sprayed some fabric softener on it it wouldn't be bad but i really like the colors in here like tan navy there's like a sage green and orange i think it needs washed well they all need washed but maybe a little wrinkle releaser or something or i'm not sure but it's not bad i like it i like the style of it and that again that was 11.98 okay i think that's all the clothes Oh, I saw these stickers and I thought they were stinking adorable, so I got them. There's four of them in a pack. It was $1.79. I love stickers. I'm like a sticker fanatic. But it says, okay, girls, let's go get them. And it's got Rizzo from the Pink Ladies from Greece. I thought that was really cool. I love Greece. Greece is one of my all-time favorite movies. I'm a huge Olivia Newton-John fan. In fact, my favorite movie of all time is Xanadu with Olivia Newton-John. If you've ever seen that, we're like peas in a pod, me and you. My favorite movie of all time. I loved it. Okay, another set of nails, $2.69 for these. And these are really pretty, and I actually got them in a medium, so go me if I can figure out how to get them out of here. Holy moly. Okay, so you get the orange stick and all the tabs and everything and then I, I think I probably bought something very similar to this if not the same thing before but I love like this like cat eye type of these are really pretty I mean I love these they're like pink but they're like opaly kind of beige kind of they're they can be kind of all different colors depending on which way the light hits them you know so yeah aren't they pretty I love those $2.69. Like, that's a bargain for me. $2.69 for a pair of nails. That is a bargain. And I can never get them back in these little sleeves. So I'm just going to leave them out because I'm going to put them... I, I have like a little plastic case I put all my nails in. So I'm going to put them in there. And then I got a ring, of course. $1.41 for this ring. Let's check it out. Their rings are hit and miss with me. Sometimes I'll buy a ring for like a couple of bucks and I absolutely hate it because it looks horrible. And then other times I'll buy a ring for 98 cents and I love it. So this one looks really, really pretty. Okay. I love this one. $1.41. Do you see how it has like the filigree on there? And then look at that. Oh my gosh. Yes. How pretty is that? I love the setting. 
of it. That is really pretty. I mean, for $1.41? <sighs> uh, I love it. I'm going to wear that. $1.41 for that. Very nice. Very pretty nice sized ring. It's not like, you know, overly gaudy or anything. It's just a nice little ring with a really nice setting on it. Really cute. I love that. Okay, next is a pair of earrings. I th I am almost positive I just saw Aaron from Hey Everybody haul these. I'm, I swear. It, I think they were blue, though. And I bought an... I bought an... Oh my gosh, Jen. I've bought several pairs of these earrings. They are $1.98, and they're these little enamel hoops. And I'm almost positive Aaron got them in the blue, and these are in the black and white, which I think are sold out, she said. But I bought these in the hot pink and in the yellow. I really like these. These are really pretty. Um, I love the enamel look. I'm into that. <laughs> like with rings or earrings or bracelets or anything. So yeah, I really like those. $1.98. Okay, this must be a bracelet or a necklace. This is also $1.98. It says leaf fish. Whatever that means. Okay, it is a necklace. It's stretchy on a stretchy cord. And there are some leaves on it, and there are some fish on it. I don't know which way it goes. I'm assuming this way. Um, it's just a really long silver necklace, and then it's got kind of, it's got like these on it. There's like this, which I assume is the bottom, and then you've got this leaf. And then, as you go further up, it's got these fish on it. So, I don't know. It's cute. It'd be a cute necklace to layer with, because it's really long. But I don't know how you'd wear it. Like, I assume there's only one of these leaves on it. I would assume that this hanging feather is what would dangle, you know, in the front. Wouldn't you think? I feel like I'm sitting too far back. I keep, like, doing this. You know what I mean? Like, I would assume that that's the front of the necklace. But it's nice because it's very lightweight. So, that's nice. $1.98. I like it. I do like that. I like it. I like it a lot. Oops, and I dropped it. Okay, we'll pick that up later. All right. This is... Oh, um, these are... I think these are... I think the cats just went after that package. I think these are magnetic clasps, which I have been waiting to unbox the unbox, unhaul, take them out of the bag, whatever. These, because I can't wait to put these on all my necklaces. <laughs> I got You get a set of gold, and which this gold is gaudy as heck, but... They were $4.04 and you get 10 pieces of each. So you just, you can put these on your necklaces so that you don't have to fidget with the, you know, the clasp. They just, this is a magnetic clasp. That's what it looks like. It's so tiny, you know, but yeah, it's magnetic. So you don't have to, it's really hard to work with that, with nails on, but they seem pretty strong. So yeah, I like them. So I thought, I'm going to use those. I like having the magnetic closures on my, even bracelets. Bracelets or necklaces or anything like that. Anything. So yeah, we'll try these out, see how they work. I'll probably go upstairs and start putting them on all my necklaces. Even if you put the gold ones on the silver, like who cares? Because it'll be at the back of your neck anyways. and Nobody's going to see it, you know? Okay, next is a pair of these. I know this looks weird, but stay with me. They were $2.24. They are like heel socks, but they're like moisturizing heel socks. Or, well, they're not really moisturizing, I guess. Well, they could, they can be. But the heel part on the inside is like a silicone. Like right here is silicone. So your heel is going to go right there. And then, you know, your toes stick out. But they smell like rose. They must have something on them. Mmm, they smell really good. And I normally don't like rose, so, but I mean, you know, slather some castor oil on your feet or get yourself a foot mask and then pull these over it and then wear it all night to bed. So yeah, I'm going to wear these to bed later. Totally going to wear those to bed later. Girl's got to girl's gotta take care of her feet, you know? Okay, so I've gotten this sticker before. It was $1.93. I think I stuck it on one of my uh tumblers so i think i'm going to give this one to my friend chrissy because i know she will like it um if i can get it out of here so oh it's really jacked up though so i probably won't give it to her it's coming kind of coming like off the i don't know the paper's kind of jacked up and shipping i wish they would put cardboard behind these stickers so they wouldn't get so screwed up 
but it says faith, family, and freedom. It's got the American flag on it. Now, I, I, that does not mean I'm a nationalist. It just means that it doesn't just doesn't mean that. Okay, I got called a nationalist the other day in my comments. I'm like, I'm not. I'm not a nationalist. I, I love everybody equally. Okay. All right, and then I got this sticker for a dollar forty-three. It's um, a Christian saying. It's Psalm twenty-three. So, it's the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Love that. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restoreth my soul. That's one of my favorite Bible passages right there. So I'm going to put that on my my emotional support water bottle. And then, um, let's see. This looks like another ring. Okay, so this one was $1.98. This one was like $1.40 something. So let's compare and see what, see what we think here. Oh, this one's really pretty too. I think I bought this one before. I like this. So I used to really, really love the marquee style diamonds. Um, and then I kind of got away from that and I started liking the round. But I, I saw this and I just really liked it. Because it's really kind of like dainty. Like look how pretty it is. It's just really pretty and dainty. And I really like it. I think it looks really pretty on. I think I have another one of these somewhere. But there's the setting. But yeah, I just really like it. I think it's so stinking cute. Guys, these are both nice. I like both of these. Maybe I'll just wear them both. I mean, who cares, right? Who cares? Okay, almost to the end. Let's get the rest of this stuff out of here. Looks like two more items to go. Okay, been waiting to get for this to come up out of my bag too. I've been like, where's that mosquito thing I bought? So we're gonna uh, see if this works outside. This is a mosquito lamp for $4.48. Now, please don't yell at me because it's probably going to shock them, but it is what it is. It's a zapper lamp with a night light. The question is, oh, wait, you plug, okay, hold on. I think, I'm not sure how this works. It gives you some instructions. Oh, here's a little thing to clean out the dead skeeters. Um, now, this says, don't put your stinking hand on top. Don't do that. I don't know why. So, anyways, this pops up. And here's where you charge it. Now, how do you turn it on? So apparently you have to plug it in to use it. Okay. But there's just like all these little coils around there. I don't know if this will work or not. It's a lamp. But where am I going to plug this in? Like outside? Like I thought that you charged it and kind of like took it with you, you know, so you could like take it fishing and stuff. But okay. Last but certainly not least, uh, this is a shirt. For $9.89, I'll put a picture up of it. It just looks kind of like a baseball tee, sort of. But it's stretchy. It's really big. I probably should have sized down. But it's like a three-quarter sleeve, like baseball style shirt. And it's got a v-neck or, I mean, you could, you could do these buttons up. But I will probably wear this to bed or just out running errands or something like that. We are definitely not going to wear it open. I don't, it's so weird when I get clothes from Timu and like the things open. It's like, I always feel like did somebody wear this before me or what, but I love a three quarter sleeve shirt and it's really nice and stretchy. And the bottom is like, um, the, the hem is rounded. So yeah, it looks really comfortable. So I'm going to like that. Even if I just wear it to bed or to do errands or sitting out by the campfire or something like that, it, I'll like it either way. So all right, everybody, that was my haul for today. Thank you so much for watching and for sticking around with me. Um, if you see anything you like, I will try and link everything down below. There should be a link there to my cart that will take you to my cart and you can add stuff if you want any of these things. Thank you so much. Please like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye.